Everyone loves a good mystery. And one of the biggest mysteries in Python is why class methods have self as the first parameter, but when you call the method, you do not need to pass it as an argument. In this video, you will solve the mystery by taking a deep dive into the mechanics of methods in Python. Here is class employee. It has method set name that stores a first name and last name. I create two employee instances and call set name on them. I print the names and here is the result. The question is, how can the set name method have self as first parameter, but when the method is called, e1 and e2 are not passed as arguments? How do e1 and e2 get into the self parameter? The short answer is, Python passes the instances automatically. Well, that answer might be good enough for beginner Python developers, but after working with Python for a while, you might be interested in how it works. For that, you need to dive in a bit deeper. You probably know that when a Python class is defined, the class becomes an object. Classes can be printed. Here is the result. If that is possible, what happens when employee.setName is printed? Well, setName is a function in a class and when it is accessed and printed, Python shows it is a function object. But now it gets interesting. I create an employee instance and print setName from the instance. I execute the code and look at the difference. This time I get a bound method object. So, when was this bound object created? Well, you can actually read this in the Python documentation. A method object is created when a user-defined function is retrieved. And I'll put a link to this in the description. So now I'm curious what bound methods do. I suspect they bind class instances to functions in the class. And some of this can already be seen in the output. A bound method does indeed have a reference to an employee class instance. So this must mean that for each method call a new method object is created. Let's check this with a second employee instance. I create two employee class instances and print their set name methods. The result is two bound methods. The bound method class instances are different. And that must mean that the bound methods are also different. I'll test that. This time I print the IDs of the set name methods. Oh, this is unexpected. How can the methods be the same when they are bound to different employee instances? The answer is, they are not the same. It is just that their addresses are reused by Python. The Python documentation explains that method objects are created each time when function attributes are retrieved. Implicitly, that means that they are also garbage collected after using them. But I can still test if bound method objects are unique. I compare the method object identities. For the comparison, Python needs both method object instances at the same time. I execute the code, and that is what I expected. Each time a function is retrieved from a class, a method object is created. The method object binds a class instance to a class function. And that is the key to the main question of this tutorial. How does self work? I'm going to inspect the method object. First, I create an employee class instance and print it. Here is the result. I also print e.setName.dunderSelf. Aha! Dunderself from the method object contains a reference to the instance. Let me inspect yet another thing. Dunderfunk should be a reference to the class function. And that is correct. Now I want to make sure that the function object is indeed this function in the class. I inspect the signature of Dunderfunk. The referenced function indeed has the signature of the class function. Notice it expects self as the first parameter. Now I inspect the signature of the bound method. Hey, the bound method does not expect self as the first parameter. So here is what happens. When a class function is retrieved, 
A method object is created with a reference to the class instance and class function. The bound method object is callable and its signature is the same as the class function, minus the self parameter. The setName method object is called with a first name and last name. The method object creates a new argument list with dunder self, first name and last name, and calls dunder func with the new argument list. And that is quite a deep dive into Python methods. It took me a while to wrap my head around all this. And if there's one thing I wished I understood earlier, it is that an instance method is a callable object that binds an instance to a class function and inserts the instance as first argument when calling that class function. You might want to read that a couple of times. Or click on the screen right now to watch one of my other Python tutorials. And we'll see each other in the next video.